Buffy the Vampire Slayer fell in love with two vampires, making her terrible at her job. It's actually Buffy the Vampire's Slayer. Just a misunderstanding, really. She slew thousands though it's implied several per night for maybe five years. She even killed both the ones she loved at points they got better. Here's the real question when she stakes a vampire and they turn to dust, why do their clothes turn to dust too? Sometimes to beat thy enemy you must know thy enemy and to know thy enemy is to love thy enemy. The first one had a soul. That she caused him to lose, dot, but then he got it back, so that was kinda neutral. The second fell for her so hard he went and got himself a soul and then sacrificed himself to save the world. Sure he got better but that one has to count as a win. Plus he killed a bunch of uber vamps when he sacrificed himself, so those go in her win column as well. So if anything, loving vampires made her better at her job. She did kill Angel once, and technically killed Spike as well. I mean, in her defense. They were really, really good looking. Nah, both of them had souls and were not killing when she fell in love with them. Ah, so you watched the show and noticed its use of irony, did you? No, she killed tons of vamps. You might be confusing her with Muffy the Slayer of all vampires. That's not really sound logic. Take any other job. Bricklayer, chef, electrician. Whatever. They're not terrible at their job just because they chose not to lay every brick in the world or cook every food ingredient they came across or work on every power system they encountered. Besides, it's not like she didn't try to slay them anyway. The German name of the series is Buffy im Banda Demonen. So, something like Buffy in the grips of the demons. It is quite hard to translate ban. Verbant means banned. But im ban sane is more something like being fascinated or caught by them. Whatever, it sounds much more like the perfect name for a pawn as well. Okay, but both of them had souls. This is a fundamental difference within the Buffy law. The TLDR is that soul conscience the ability to feel guilt. She was never in love with Spike. She said it to him in the finale as penance for what she put him through, but she didn't mean it and he knew it. And she never loved the vampire Angelus, she fell for the human soul of Liam who called himself Angel. So there. A couple of ill-advised workplace romances doesn't necessarily make her bad at her job. Buffy only ever fell in love with Pike. Anything after that is just anti-Christy Swanson propaganda. At least three, she never appears in Angel S5E20 The Girl in Question but it involves her being with one called the Immortal. I guess you could say she was Buffy the Vampire Leia. I'll see myself out. She's cultivating a particularly virulent strain of vampire STD. She'll kill them by burning inches. Yeah. But she killed both of them, in the end, and thousands of other vamps, plus demons and a bunch of other stuff. I think she did all right. Buffy the Vampire's Layer. Everybody thought there was a slight typo in her application form, but she meant what she typed. How does making two mistakes suddenly make you terrible at your job? There is more than one way to slay a vampire if you know what I mean. Smirking face. She's not contractual obligated to kill all of them. She has discretion. She did slay vampires plural in that she fucked multiple vampires. Oh, she was slaying them, just not the way she was supposed to. Watching it now, you can't help but wonder which young women Joss slept with. Shower Thoughts A survey showed that most men have fantasized about Buffy the Vampire Slayer and have thought about her whilst in the shower. At least once. I think even if she hadn't actually killed both of them anyway, her hit rate would still pretty good. Most other slayers seem to have died before really killing more than a handful, and certainly before getting the opportunity to sleep with many vamps. Even then, Willow was probably the Slayer Goat, with Angel a distant second, and neither of them were even supposed to be Slayers. So Buffy could be better for sure. 
chosen one coming in third to her deadbeat boyfriend and a timid, small-town nobody kid must be a low-effort performance. I don't know shit about no Buffy the Vampire, but I sure love Slayer. I love the movie. Hence, I hate the show. She's wouldn't have been able to be around them if it was the movie. The show shouldn't exist. How is this applicable to this sub? What the fuck happened to this place? It's like a deer hunter falling in love with a couple of bucks. Or a dairy farmer falling in love with a cow. Yes when I told her to slay them, she thought I said lay them. Biggest news flash ever. Shower thoughts apparently can't be had in the shower lmao face with tears of joy. This thought is even funnier if you read it in Dwight's voice. Show me a Buffy who is good at her job and I'll show you how to band $100 bills. The one and only one she fell in love with was completely the only ever vampire with a soul at the time. The other one was a physical thing due to her being fucked up from being yanked out of heaven and having a shit life situation. There's no real argument she loved him. Edit note I think the angel Buffy thing is fucked. He literally fell in love with her when he was 200-ish and she was 14-ish. But the story with Spike is from Buffy's perspective it was just to feel something. She didn't love Spike. Pretty sure that whole sexually assaulting her while she was in the bathroom killed any feels she has towards him. When you slay a pussy, you have sex with a vagina. Perhaps she's slaying their vampire penises. She still staked like 900 other vampires. I wouldn't say that dick sucking Brian is bad at his job just because he went down on a girl a couple times. I'd say dick sucking Brian is bad at his job because I've been audited twice in four years because of his poor accounting advice and sloppy work when filing both state and federal taxes. She fell in love with one and shagged another. Had sex with Angel once as a vampire turning him back into Angelus. That slay is different slay. At least the part used to slay it is different. If you love the job you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Or something like that. Not really, relationships with people you work with all the time are super common. I see it a bit differently. That's two vampires who experienced love. They are predators and humans are their food. These two felt such love for Buffy that they essentially civilized themselves. But she slayed a lot more than she fell in love with so. Also I'm a butcher but I regularly fall in love with and fuck cattle so it seems like you're saying I'm a bad butcher or something. According to a quick Google search, Buffy killed 201 vampires which means she only slept with his point nine of all the vampires she killed. Overall, she is still more slayer than Leia. In fairness, she did slay Angel and I'd argue that she didn't love Spike. Those vampires slayed other vampires, so she's actually really good at her job. She also pretty much automated it by the last episode. In that sense, she innovated like no other slayer had. 